Graphic new allegations have emerged in Josh Duggar's child pornography case. Josh Duggar virtually appeared in court for a detention hearing regarding his arrest on April 29th. During the hearing, held on May 5th and virtually attended by E! News, Homeland Security Investigation Special Agent Jared Faulkner claimed the former TLC reality star's computer had downloaded multiple files depicting child sex abuse on three separate days in May of 2019. Faulkner said one of the files allegedly showed children who were 18 months to 12 years old being sexually abused. According to Faulkner, the images were in the top five of the worst of the worst that I've ever had to examine. Faulkner additionally stated that a police detective from Little Rock, Arkansas, alerted federal authorities of the downloads, which were traced to a computer IP address located at a car dealership where Josh worked at the time. Faulkner said they couldn't confirm if Josh was the one to download the content. In November 2019, Homeland Security raided the establishment and seized the computers. Additionally, Faulkner said the agents found accountability software on Josh's computer. Faulkner said Josh was a registered member and his pregnant wife, Anna Duggar, received reports of his online activity. However, Faulkner claimed that Josh's activity was not monitored by the program because he used a password-protected network. At the May 5th hearing, a judge granted Josh bail under the condition that he stays with a couple who are Duggar family friends and agreed to be his third-party custodians. Additionally, he will be monitored with a GPS anklet. He's unable to access the internet and he can visit with his children while his wife supervises, among other restrictions. Josh pleaded not guilty to one count of receipt of child pornography and one count of possession of child pornography on Friday, April 30th. That day, Josh's attorney said in a statement to E! News, We intend to defend this case aggressively and thoroughly. In this country, no one can stop prosecutors from charging a crime. But when you're accused, you can fight back in the courtroom. And that is exactly what Josh intends to do.